You may be seated. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure at this time to introduce our guests and dignitaries seated on the stage today. To my right, I have Dr. Kristen McNeil, Superintendent of the Washoe County School District. I have Debbie Barstow, Deputy Superintendent of the Washoe County School District. Mr. Joe Ernst, Area Superintendent for Area 3. Dr. Troy Parks, Chief Academic Officer for the Washoe County School District. Ms. Michelle Anderson, Chief Communication and Community Engagement Officer. In addition, we have the pleasure of having board members on the stage, Dr. Angela Taylor, Taylor, sorry, Angie. <laughs> Ms. Ella Minetto, member of the Board of Trustees. I'm not sure if Mr. Jeffrey Church, but he was on my program, Board of Trustees. Dr. Diane Nicolette, member of the Board of Trustees. And for many of you guys who are sitting in the audience as far as the students, I have our feeder principals who you once graced their hallways. Please, Ms. Jenna Leonard, principal of Sky Rash Middle School. None other, none other than Mr. Mike Gipper, principal at Shaw Middle School. On stage to my left, can I have the senior class and the senior student body officers please rise. I have the honor of introducing my admin team, Mrs. Wendy Hawkins, Assistant Principal. Mr. Eddie Hirschman, Assistant Principal. Ms. Celia Moran, Assistant Principal. Mr. Jason Armston, Assistant Principal. Somewhere in this stadium, I have my Dean of Students, Ms. Erin Howley. We have our keynote speaker, Mr. Paul Kibla. And we have our graduates, card reader. We have Mr. Brett Berry. And the lovely Miss Laura Dreeland as a card reader. I would like to acknowledge and give thanks to my incredible staff who maintained the needed grit, patience, and flexibility while working in a pandemic setting. You show such compassion and understanding for our students, getting them to where they are today. Thank you for all the hard work and dedication to the, to the success of these graduates throughout the last four years. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge a few of my faculty and staff who retired at the end of this school year. We had Mr. Jim Beaver, Mrs. Sue Giovanni, Mr. Gary Priegel, Mrs. Kathy Moran, and Mrs. April Santana. We wish them all the best as they pursue the next chapter of their lives. At this time, I would like to welcome our senior class president, Gary Cox, to the podium. <laughs> At this time, it is my pleasure to announce our very own Class of 2021 Valedictorian, Kate Engel Awong. Good morning, Spanish Springs! This year has been long. That's what she said. <laughs> This year has sucked. However, we've emerged from quarantine 
like a phoenix from the ashes, relatively unscathed, relatively the same weight, relatively sane, and most importantly, as better TikTok dancers than Charlie D'Amelio. Yeah. <laughs> but all of us know what it's like to take chances, to fail, to risk being called different, weird, or gross. Yet look around you. Look at the people who are here to support your accomplishments and celebrate your success. I would like to have you take a moment to turn to your friends and family and thank them for their continued support. <laughs> now, I'd like to personally thank the faculty and staff at Spanish Springs High School for their mentorship during our four years here and give a moment of applause for them. I am honored to be the Spanish Springs High School valedictorian of the graduating class of 2021. This year, <laughs> this year hasn't been swag to say the least. We've survived the dreaded online schooling and all of the glitches teams had to offer. Masks, loneliness, senior event cancellations, and most importantly, we survived a pandemic. Thank you, Netflix. <laughs> this year's class will be remembered as one of the most resilient and progressive classes in Spanish Springs High School history. Persevering, positive, and innovative are just some of the many attributes that anoint our class. We learn now more than ever that relationships and human connection are incredibly important. That a simple hug or a smile can brighten anyone's day. We went months quarantined from our loved ones and friends. We spent hours playing video games, solving jigsaw puzzles, and binge watching The Office. Like Michael Scott said, would I rather be feared or loved? Easy, both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. <laughs> Take his advice and fearlessly share as much love and joy with those around you as you can. Because as we have learned, life is too short and relationships are too precious to be taken for granted. You are the innovators that will lead the way to a new wave of knowledge and consciousness, open to an ocean vast with possibilities. Outside of this stadium is a big world waiting for you to make a difference. Now that big world might seem scary, but fear shouldn't hold you back from your dreams. Don't be afraid to take a bit of a risk, to gamble and put it all on the line for something you love. That was my school. <laughs> because, because failure is a part of life and learning. Believe me, I wasn't perfect, and I failed plenty of times throughout high school. But look where I am. I accomplished my dream of being valedictorian, which goes to show you can do anything you set your mind to. Remember this, you can still fail at what you don't want, so you might as well take, take a chance on doing what you love. Reach for the sky, reach for the stars, reach for your perfect pair of sweatpants. Reach beyond what the mind can comprehend. You have the ability to change the world. Now the question is, will you? Please allow me to present to you our 2021 salutatorian, Christian White. students, faculty, staff, parents, and guardians of the Spanish Springs High School graduating class of 2021. It has been quite the roller coaster of a year for not just the seniors, but for everyone here. 
We have endured trials and tribulations of all shapes and sizes that I'm sure none of us would have ever expected to face. COVID destroyed so many things for so many families across the globe, and even through all the craziness, we were able to come out on the other side with a new appreciation for life and all its idiosyncrasies. To my fellow seniors, let's be honest, this year was nothing but less than ideal. We lost out on so many amazing 12th grade experiences that we've, never, that we've been looking forward to since we first stepped foot on the campus four years ago. Being stuck behind masks and separated through social distancing was not how we expected our senior year to turn out, and being split in half the whole year didn't help either. It felt as though we were just going through the motions to get to graduation without truly enjoying the time we had. Sports, clubs, assemblies, and all the fun things about high school were taken away from us in the most important year. However, things started to turn back up a little over halfway through. Restrictions started getting lifted, vaccines were developed, and life started to feel normal again, little by little. Of course, we are still not 100% back to normal, and probably won't be for a while still. But I think I can speak on behalf of the senior class and say thank you to everyone who tried to make the most out of a not so great situation. We got sports, clubs, and even our only prom back, even though they look looked a little different this year. We even got one assembly for the seniors, which I don't think any of us will ever forget. To the school administration and faculty, thank you for fighting on our behalf to let us have some sense of normalcy back. To the parents and guardians of all the seniors, thank you for sticking by your child's side in an unprecedented time. And to the seniors, thank you for pushing through the hardships and not giving up. Your resilience is extremely admirable. We couldn't be more grateful that we all got at least something before we head off to bigger and better things. To all my fellow seniors sitting down in front of me, you guys know how much of a year it's been. I think we all suffered senioritis way earlier than we all expected, and it was a really school year to get through. But look at us now, we finished, and now we have the great pleasure of getting to take on the world, whatever it may look like for you. Some of us are going off to college to pursue education, some to become athletes, some to trade school, and some straight into the workforce. But no matter what you end up doing, make sure you enjoy every second of it. We have lived for over a year in isolation, and now it's our turn to get the time we deserve back. Spend time with your friends and family, go experience life for yourself, and relish in the present. You never know when the world can quite literally get flipped upside, flipped upside down. Now, before I conclude my speech, there are some specific people I would like to thank that typically aren't mentioned in a speech like this. Especially considering the year we went through, I want to invite everyone to give a round of applause for the janitors of the school. They are severely underrated. <laughs> They are severely underrated, and this year simply would not have been possible without them. We thank them from the bottom of our hearts. Something else I'd like to touch on is the time of year. This month means a lot to me, and probably some of you too. Not just because of this graduation, or the beginning of a new chapter, but as a reminder of our past, our history, and our legacy. And finally, to my peers that I've gone to know over the last four years, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your story. There are so many kind, dedicated, and inspirational individuals in this class that I know will achieve amazing things in the future. You guys have shown your great on the sleeve in such an arduous year, and it is something to be envious of. It is our turn now to make an impact on the world. When you guys leave this gradua graduation ceremony and start your lives, ensure that you do what you love and be grateful for the time and experiences you have. There will come a time where you can no longer do it and you're going to wish that you did. Make every moment count and be kind. This world needs a lot more love in it. And finally, always be true to yourself and be your authentic, authentic self. There's nothing better than you know, being yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Pride Month for everyone. Congratulations to the class of 2021. <laughs> it gives me pleasure at this time to introduce our advanced choir. The musical selection will be, you will be found from the musical Dear Evan Hansen under the direction of our wonderful, wonderful choral director, Mr. Richard Hyman. Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall no one were here.
When everyone said four years would go by fast, they definitely weren't kidding because it feels as though we just stepped through those school doors for the first time, full of anticipation for all the hope high school had in store for us. We were filled with excitement, much like Carl and Ellie Fredrickson from the Pixar movie Up. If you've never seen Up, well, you're about 12 years late to the story and we'll likely hear some spoilers today. So Carl and Ellie were adventurous children with dreams of traveling the world. As they grew up and eventually married, they promised each other that they would reach their goal of making it to Paradise Falls. Along the way, life was not kind to them. They faced trials, heartbreak, lack of resources, and illnesses. Much like the Fredricksons, the class of 2021 has experienced our own unique set of trials, from a pandemic that has stripped us of our sense of normalcy loss of relationships, and even some personal struggles that were hidden by a brave face or a mask, you know. We never quite felt that our dreams for what a senior year was meant to be were achieved. After becoming a widower, Carl found Ellie's adventure book that she had planned their lives for Paradise Falls in. Although Ellie would not be with Carl to fulfill this goal, he still chose to fulfill his promise to her by flying their home around the world. Goal setting is necessary as it allows us to find dreams that we are passionate about and seek out reasonable ways to achieve those goals. Just because we set ambitions, obstacles are inevitable. Carl faced hiccups throughout his journey with a ditzy boy named Russell, a distracted dog named Doug, squirrel, and a rare bird called a snipe. These three tagalongs slowed down Carl's adventure, took him further from his destination, and sometimes destroyed bits and pieces of his plan. See, even when we set goals, life can get in the way. The unexpected will knock on the doors of your greatest ambitions. However, it is up to you to decide how complications will affect your journey to reaching your achievements. Will you turn away from your dreams and get upset with what you cannot control? Or will you become resilient and adapt your goals to the circumstances that change your course? After a dangerous fight for their lives, Carl, Russell, Kevin, and Doug make it out of Paradise Falls, never quite getting to where Carl had actually intended on going. So Carl opened Ellie's adventure book for the first time looking beyond the front cover of Paradise Falls to find pictures of he and Ellie throughout their lives together. Ellie recalls her life with Carl as her greatest adventure. That is when Carl realized that he focused too greatly on the end goal that he did not see that all along the greatest goal of all was life amid the unexpected. Although our best made plans may be altered because of the circumstances of the world around us, we cannot forget to remember that the greatest goal of all is life itself. Yes, these past 15 months have been confusing, frustrating, and disappointing, but seniors, we have the power to let go of what we cannot control and redirect our course. As English author Douglas Adams said, I may not have gone where I intended to go, but I think I have ended up where I needed to be. My fellow graduates, now is our time to acknowledge that our adventure is out there. Embrace it and chart your course. The class of 2021 will go far and achieve great things. Happy adventures, Peters. <laughs> Due to the nature of our ceremony being outside, we were unable to present our senior memories video in the outdoor format. However, a senior's video was created by Olivia Rogers and Joshua Catalano, and it will be posted to our school website at 5 p.m. today for you to watch. Please go to the school's website and click the link to gain access. We hope you enjoy it. Class of 2021. My name is Cami Prince and I am your class of 2021 student body treasurer. <coughs> Spanish Springs High School, we did it. Now, we not only made it through four years of high school, but one and a half of those four were spent through a global pandemic and falling asleep during 8 a.m. Zoom calls. Ellen DeGeneres once said, when you take a risk, learn that there will be times when you succeed and there will be times when you fail and both are equally important. You will discover that stepping out into the new world sometimes may be challenging, but never let that slow you down. 
We would not have been able to get through this year without the help of our faculty and staff here at SSHS. They have helped us through struggles and led us all to success. It is my honor today to introduce the teacher who was chosen on behalf of the senior class and student body officers to be our class of 2021 speaker, Mr. Kibbola. <laughs> Choosing one teacher to speak for our whole class was not easy, but we all came to agreement that Mr. Kibbola has had a huge impact on our success. Many of you know him as your freshman or junior English teacher, or simply just the guy at the end of the 250s hallway asking how your day was. He has been teaching for 32 years and has been in Spanish Springs for nine of the 32. Freshman year, I learned to love English and writing, and I thank Mr. Kibla for that. Anytime we took a test, we were told to draw something on the back of our paper, and he would determine which drawing was the best. I never took this assignment serious until I was told to draw Alex Serfolio. I have never seen 25 freshman students so focused, and that is what makes him so special. Not only were we learning classic literature, but there was always something fun to look forward to. As many of you know, Mr. Kibla was supposed to be retiring this year, but COVID made it difficult for him to form bonds with the students, and he did not want to end his career that way. So he will be continuing his teaching career for another year. Woo! This shows Mr. Kibla's passion and dedication to his profession, and one of his favorite subjects to teach was Huckleberry Finn, who as a kid goes off on a journey and discovers society on his own. This relates to our class very heavily because we are the people who are going to make out and make the world, we are the people who are going to out, go out and make the world a better place. Spanish Springs High School Class of 21, this is not the end. This is just a huge milestone we have completed. The next chapter is all up to you. And I believe every single one of us is going to go out and make a difference in this world. Now, please help me welcome Mr. Kibola. <laughs> Well, Tammy, thank you. It's uh, it's a tremendous honor. I know we have a lot of great teachers and faculty members that that could be chosen for this honor, but uh, it is true. I, I always love my students, and so I'm honored to do this for you guys today. So I just want to say, parents, faculty, and the Cougar class of 2021, welcome to the first ever graduation on the Spanish Springs High School campus. During this past year and a half, many, many people in the nation have called this a lost year for our students. Let me tell you, that is only true if students gave up a long time ago. Many of you students may have stalled for a while, but obviously you persevered and made it to graduation today. On behalf of the Spanish Springs High School teachers and faculty, I congratulate your efforts, seniors, for grinding it out to the finish. Though you all lost so much this year, now is not the time to feel sorry for yourselves. Many American generations before us have had their share of trials as well. Imagine graduating into an unsure future. Imagine graduating to the following times in American history. World War I, the Spanish flu epidemic, the Great Depression, World War II, the Vietnam War, and 9-11 to name a few eras in our history. Those were all scary and uncertain times. America has persevered through those history book eras, but as can clearly be seen, Americans came out of each crisis stronger and with new knowledge to better society in the long run. So let's not look at 2021 as a lost year. It was challenging and different to be sure, but we are apparently near the end of this pandemic. Now those leaders and scientists who have worked to help us get through this pandemic were sitting on a graduation chair not so many years ago like you are now. There will undoubtedly come a day when you will be called upon to be the leaders to help another generation through a challenging time. That is your calling. Whether it be as a scientist creating a vaccine for a future disease, a soldier defending our country, a teacher showing up to teach the next generation, a nurse working in dangerous conditions, a mechanic keeping the country moving, a truck driver delivering goods to feed the nation, a grocery clerk selling food, a construction worker keeping our homes and infrastructure standing, or a police officer or other first responder protecting all our citizens. You will all be called upon one day to do your duty, to make personal sacrifices, to keep our country safe and remain the greatest country in the world. 
a country so many others want to be a part of. Seniors, you lost one and a half years of normal school. You could have folded, but you had to adapt. Adaptation is a life lesson. You will face hardships and changes in life. The question is, how will you respond? You must adapt and improve upon each situation. Many of you will go into careers where change and adaptation are necessities. This class has proved that you all can adapt and, and excel in the middle of stressful changes. You've learned a lot of lessons that are not academic lessons. You've learned to persevere when nothing seems normal or certain. And perhaps one of the greatest losses to people during the pandemic was relationships between family, classmates, and coworkers. We need people in relationships. Continue to build relationships. Never underestimate the value of personal connections between family, friends, and colleagues. In the end, personal connections are what help us to persevere. Graduates, as you head off to college or careers, set goals for yourselves. Without goals, you will flounder on the waves, going whichever way the wind or current takes you. Set a course, even if that course is a risk against the current or against the wind. Like Odysseus, all may seem to be lost at times, but always keep Ithaca in the forefront of your mind. Hopefully some of you remember that story. The risk takers and challengers is what has made America great. It is the reason so many still aspire to call themselves Americans. But the truth is, no one owes you anything. You will have to earn your future and earn your place in this world. It is not an impossible task, but it will take sacrifice and effort on each of your parts. So what do you want to be when you grow up? You've all been asked that question since you were in elementary school. Now is a real now it's a real question that needs a real answer. And it is a tough decision to choose a career, but I believe I can help guide you if you haven't decided already. I heard a wise person once ask this question. If you had to work for free until you were 65 or 70 years old, what would you choose for a career? Now, whatever your answer is, that is probably the career you need to choose. If you choose a career based upon money, you may not have fulfillment. If you base it on fame, you may be disappointed with fake friends. If you base it upon simplicity, you may get bored. Do something that you enjoy. Do something that gives you joy and a sense of purpose. Do something that benefits other people as well. You all need to set your courses now. Do not simply follow the wind or currents. Set your sail to go the direction you are meant to go. Even if the course is long and arduous, Cougar class of 2021, you're truly one of the best classes to graduate from Spanish Springs High School. Make yourselves, your families, and Cougar Nation proud. Good luck to all of you. and I'm your senior class secretary. On behalf of our senior class, it is an honor to introduce our principal, Ms. Tammy Hart. Please help me welcome Ms. Hart back to the podium. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you the class of 2021. This is the time to celebrate all that you have accomplished and anticipate all that you have yet to achieve. What an amazing group of students you have become. Before you begin your journey, I would like this honor to say that I wish each of you the freedom to explore the possibilities that await you for peace inside you when you may have fear or doubt that kind of comes in and make you self-doubt yourself, or peace inside when you fear because life will continue to happen. You're bigger than your dreams, and that's something that you will explore when you get out into the real world. 
We all have our own life story. It is filled with relationships and events that help shape who we are and what we believe to be true about the world. Depending on our perspective and willingness to grow, our experiences can become our greatest teacher. I would like for you seniors to kind of think about some of the things I'm about to say. Number one, be true to yourselves. Two, let go of things that are out of your control and move forward with a thankful and grateful heart. Three, let go of all those things that weigh you down by life. Remember, you're the master of your own faith because only then can you start to define how you are creating the new version of you. Number five, don't forget to set goals because they will be the roadmaps that will guide you and show you what is possible for your life. And lastly, love yourself. You're coming to one part of your journey, but embarking on so many things that's going to help you grow as a person. For the parents and guardians, thank you for all the support, not just through the high school years, but also when they started, because it truly begins with pre-K to kindergarten and on. We thank you for your commitment in loving your student to getting them where they are today. So I will leave you with a few parting words. Envision greatness in yourself and seize every opportunity that you can to achieve it. Class of 2021, it has been a true honor and a privilege to watch you grow, to see your progress, and to celebrate on your successes. Seize this moment, value your friends and family, and be grateful for the tiniest of moments and opportunities that will come into your life to shape who you will become. Congratulations, class of 2021. We are all so very proud of you. <laughs> Superintendent McNeil and members of the Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to present to you the Spanish Springs High School Class of 2021. These students have fulfilled all the provisions required by the Washoe County School District Board policies and administrative regulations, the Nevada Administrative Code, and the Nevada Revised Statutes. This accomplishment allows them to participate in the graduation ceremony. Seniors, please prepare to come forward for individual recognition. <laughs> Kylie Kibola. <laughs> Olivia Rogers. <laughs> Kate Ingle Awong. Sierra Wilson. <laughs> Paige Coates. <laughs> Bailey Martin. I got this five. Sorry. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got this. I got you. We're good. All right. Garrett Cox. Leslie Sendejas. Christian White. Alexis Cusino. Tristan Rogers. Cameron Prince. 
Here you go. You got this, man. Susa. Camila Lazardo. Luke Stuber. Cordelia Moreno. Mason Liano. Irene Schwartz. Connor Moreland. Courtney Moreno. Rafael Villanueva. 
Sofia Rivera Gonzalez. Andrew Lur. Krista Ruiz Contreras. Ashley Marlowe. Eileen Lopez Callejas. Lena Mangini. Daisy Ruiz. Linnea Larson. Irene Rubio Gama. Leslie Molina. Mary Jo O'Dell. Risa Perez. Madison Rankin. Ramon Zarate Rios. Kendra Martinez. Eric Ochoa Alas. Arwen Williams. Sabai Tao Ceballos. Sakai, I'm sorry, Sakai. Shay Sanchez. Good job, Sakai. Machiavelli Tuavo. Alexandra Quick. Guadalupe Trujillo. Isaac Martinez. Geneva Perkins. Ivan Landon. Gracie Mays. Matthew Remmel. Anna Nunez. Bryson Spears. Lydia Rigby. Brady Massett. Delaney Polchin. Malaya Yohe. Mario Munoz. Charlie Mullen. Logan Martin. Kyla Tudor. 
Christian Munda. Brandon Pastrana. Cassandra Macon. Elizabeth Spaulding. Alyssa Van Ornum. Natalie Montez Rico. Southern Kenya. Norma Padilla. May Shaver. Christian Lopez Vargas. Sandra Cardona. Jaime Martinez Garcia. Yosbarani Lopez Rodriguez. Diego Lopez. Amy Lewis. <laughs> Efrain Lopez. Jonathan Nunez. <laughs> Ariel Martinez Orozco. Gabino Ramos Gutierrez. Estefania, Estefania Ramos Heredia. Aurora Miller. Tana, Tanner Peterson. Danica Reynolds. Megan Lamont. Carson Wong. Z 
Lali Rodriguez Herrera. Bon Vicente. Let's go! Jenna Taylor. Nathan Parkin. Kaden Needham. Liani Navarrete. Nathan Waite. Tyson Nguyen. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Swan. Daniel Moscato. Yeah. Luke Merlino. Yeah. Aliana Padilla. Adam Voss. Alexis McBroom. Brandon Sutton. Abby Kane. Riley Padilla. Emily Prager. Gage Rock. Bowden Lotito. Brooklyn McCoy. Andrew Van Horn. Sabrina Neufeld. Max Pedroza. Brandon Mueller. Samantha Pro Throw. Isabella Pei. Gwendolyn Grosso. Casey Sippel. Woo, Keep strong. Hunter, Hunter Wentz. Eliza Wood. <laughs> Taya Rodriguez. Brandon McGuire. Zane Rojas Ryan. Bailey McCoy. Brianna Malaki. William Shaw. Christy Ramsey. Ian Moniz Shock. Shane Parsons.
Kobe Snyder. Andrew Meter. Good. Good. He got it. He got it. He got the picture. Landon Snyder. Come on, Christian Martinez. Brandon Michelle. Jessica Matthews. Caden Landreth. Mason Seafree. Grant Larson. <laughs> Tyree Metoyer. <laughs> Bryce Miller. <laughs> Jennifer Reyes Molina. <laughs> Aliyah Schwartz. Inaya McGruder. Jaden Patner. Valeria Pacheco Avia. Courtney Zachary. Ella Pahoki. Sarah Venegas. Drake Martin. Samira Perez Aguilar. Mason Patterson. Paola Ruiz. Jared Scott. Christopher Pappas. Philip Newhilly. Angelo Snyder. Daniel Rodriguez Cario. Wyatt Smith. Isaiah Rea Martinez. Michael T. Birch. Leslie Victorino Martinez. Shannon Munoz. Leonardo Ramirez Marquez. Diana Rodriguez. Braulio Segura Alvarado. Daniela Rodriguez Lara. 
Mark Anthony Miranda Bracamontes. Eric Reyes. Alejandra Solano Lopez. Janelle Para Estrada. Daisy Sandoval. Lana Gayo Montan. Yanetsi Larios Nunez. Esmeralda Trujillo. Junior Vizcara Cardona. Veronica Trujillo. Kyle Young. Joshua Viegas Velasco. Ava Zeng. Stephanie Ramos Gutierrez. Haven Perez. Pamela Nava Morales. Sarah Schutte. Dulce Macias Rango. Willow Roki. Omar Mo Rodriguez. Thank you. Kylie Morse. Yeah! Jacqueline Owen. Yesenia Renteria. Michelle Licona. Elizabeth Valdez Hernandez. Calvin Swartz. Ethan Thayer. Jaden Prevet Stover. Antonia Sharon. Isabella Rodriguez. Abby Simas. Riley Ogden. Yesenia Rodriguez. Dylan Santa Cruz. Matisha Cigar. David Luna Perez. <laughs> Jonathan Martinez. Lisbeth Samano. Martin Ruiz Sedano. Congratulations, class of 2021. My name is Garrett Cox, and I am your senior class president. 
While I was writing this speech, I tried to find words of optimism. Those have been hard to come by lately, however I will try. Like almost everyone, the class of 2021 did not see this past year coming. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, the pandemic hit us like a truck. Some struggled and some struggled more. Some rose while some fell. I can't think of anything more challenging for a graduating class than a global pandemic and a local lockdown. However, the fact that you are sitting here today is a testament that hard work and dedication pays off. We were set for failure, and yet we are here. Earlier, I mentioned the shortage of optimistic words. However, I found some in our class motto, which I'm sure most of you didn't know we had because I sure didn't. <laughs> it goes like this. What a wonderful thought it is that some of the best days of our lives haven't even happened yet by Anne Frank. That is our Spanish Springs class of 2021 motto, and I think it is very simple yet powerful. Some of the best days of our lives haven't even happened yet. However, I think many of my classmates could agree that many of the best days have happened at this school. From the long nights studying, AP tests, finals, book reports, applying for scholarships, or for the class of 2021, a global pandemic. Being a student is not easy. However, the kindness, leadership, and acceptance of other that this class has shown, it is easy for me to say that some of the best days of our lives have happened right here, even though we may not realize it yet. Whether it was performing in a play or concert, dancing at prom night, winning a sporting event, reaching your academic goals, or simply enjoying time with your friends. I hope you can all look back now. I hope you can all look back, whether it is now or later in life, and tell yourself that that was one of the best days of my life. And I am sure that most of you can agree that today is one of those days as well. It was your hard work and dedication that earned your seat here today. <laughs> and as you sit in your caps and gowns, I'd like you to take a second to remember the best days that have brought you to this one. Bro, this guy's moved room in my moment. <laughs> And as you sit in your caps and gowns, I'd like you to take a second to remember the best days that have brought you to this one. Yours may be the first day of kindergarten, a special birthday, a concert, or maybe just singing in a car with your friends. Each day along the way has led you to this one. From this day on, it is now your job to determine which days are the best days of your lives. Whether it is per further pursuing your education, getting the job you've always wanted, or traveling the world. Whatever you decide to do, I can assure, I can assure you that some of the best days of your lives haven't even happened yet. With all of the challenges we were given our senior year, the class of 2021 was still able to accomplish so much. Band and orchestra had performances in May. Theater put on a play for our community. The rifle team ranked seventh in the nation and number one in Nevada. The drill team placed first in eight out of 10 events. Football achieved a league championship. Softball earned league and regional championships. Also, many of our athletes were recognized for all their success with scholarships. That's a ton of history. In fact, the, 20, the class of 2021 earned a total of $6,210,000 in scholarship funds. And with coronavirus aside, I am proud to say that we are the first Spanish Springs class to graduate here on our own home field. I believe we have made our teachers, staff, family, and yourself.